Welcome back to Tech is Easy. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the Google Family Link app. So in the previous video, I had shown you how to link the parent and child's account. But that was using the Digital Wellbeing app. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can actually control your child's phone. So last time we downloaded the app and I'll just open it now. And you've got to make sure that you've signed in with the parent's account. So you can just click on the top right on the icon and over here you'll be able to see your entire family and you can see that tech is easy is the family manager so this is the parents account and the other one is the child's account so first I'm going to show you how this app works then I'll teach you how to check your child's usage so now click on the three lines on the top left and first just click on your child's name so over here you can see all the, dev the devices to which your child's phone was connected to and when they were last used. So now I'll show you how you can see all the controls which you have over your child's phone. So first click on manage settings and over here you have all the controls. So I'll show you controls on Google Play, click on that. You can decide all the restrictions, so the apps and games, which ones should be allowed. So you can change it, like rate it for 3+, plus, rate it for 16+, plus. you can change that. Then for the movies, you can decide whether you want U, UA, Adult. And the same way, you can control the books and music. After that, you can control the Google Chrome app. So over here, you can allow all sites, block mature sites, or allow only certain sites. So depending on what you want to do, click on that. And if you want to allow only certain sites, you'll click on manage sites and then you can type in the site which will be allowed on your child's phone. Then you can add filters on Google search. So over here you only have two options to keep safe search on or off. After that filters on YouTube, which is, a, which is similar. You can keep restricted mode on or off on your child's phone. After that, the Android apps. So under activity, you can see for how long your child has been using their phone. So you can see it for one day, the previous day, for a week, a month, and then the limits. So over you can set limits for each app on your child's phone. Then on, under location, you'll be able to see your child's location. So you can turn that on and off. So click on turn on. And now you can see your child's location. Then under account supervision, you can just see all of your controls which you'll have in this app. Then if you click on more, you can control where your child signs in. So you can keep yes ask me every time my child signs in on or you can al allow your child to sign in without your permission. And then you can manage the Google activity from here. So these are all the controls which you have over your child's phone. So now I've gone back to the dashboard and I'll show you what the notification settings are. So over here under new apps, every time a child gets an app or, a, or an email, you can decide whether you also want to receive a notification. So you can turn that on or off from here. Then website requests. Every time your child wants to unblock some site on Google, you'll get notified. And under activity controls, you'll have access to the web and app activity. The last thing in this app is the family group. So again, click on your icon on the top right. And over here, if you want to add family members, just click on invite family members. And then you can invite people from your contacts by sending them invitations. So this is basically how to use the Google Family Link app and how you can access your child's phone. I hope this video helped you. And if you have any other questions, you can comment below.